We are, we are recording. I'm going to go ahead and start and we'll just let people jump on as they can and uh, welcome everybody today to uh, EXP Realty Explained, an overview of, uh, we were just talking about uh, EXP is a movement. EXP is a whole entirely different real estate model and I'm really, really excited to have you, Jean, uh, join us today. Jean Frederick, I think uh, the, the, the technology and the platform was put together, and you're going to explain a little bit about that, but it seems like the gasoline got poured on it when you joined, <laughs> and uh, so I'm really excited that we have you as a guest today to, uh, to share this and um, what the, what the uh, platform is what the new model is, um, maybe a little bit about what's going on at eXp because it seems like every day we keep getting amazing news of just how more great we become and uh, some, some cool things with our stock. So maybe you can touch a little bit on that as well. But I do want to introduce uh, Gene Frederick to you. And um, I asked him to send his bio. And, uh, this is how humble this man is. Um, he said he's a grandfather of five. And I know that's so awesome. A grandfather of five, and uh, he is on the board of directors of EXPI, which is um, EXP Realty's stock. And uh, we just recently joined the NASDAQ, which is huge. Um, uh, just an, another huge feather in the, the EXP model uh, real estate hat. And um, so he is going to, um, I will tell you just a few other things because he's just way too uh, humble, but uh, he was the previous uh, franchisee owner of the Keller Williams um, of, of a region, actually two regions, if I'm correct, uh, Northern California and Hawaii. Is that right, Gene? Yeah, that was one region, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. So he was wildly famous um, in, and successful in Keller Williams, and a few years ago, uh, he was introduced to EXP Realty, and I'm going to let you take it from there. And uh, and uh, well, thank you very welcome, much, Gene. Well, thank you, Cheyenne, for the introduction. And I'll tell you what, thank you guys for coming on today. And what I'd like to do, if you could, um, silence your cell phones for at least about 20, 20 minutes or so, so you can kind of listen to me. As I, it'll only take me about twenty minutes to go through the presentation. But then the most important part to me is your questions asked afterwards. Because as I show you this new model, it's a brand new model. And of course, you're going to have questions. You're going to go, uh, and, and we want those questions because to me, that's the most important part of the whole thing. Uh, the reason I pulled up Glenn Sanford's picture here is because Glenn is our founder. He's our visionary. He's the gentleman that started the company in 2009. Tell you a little bit of history on Glenn because to me, that's, that's why I'm here. And I'm going to tell you my story in a second. But Glenn... Um, was very, very much involved in the tech industry. And in fact, if you called AOL, I just learned this a while back, if you called AOL Financial and asked financial uh, questions back in the day, you would have gotten a response from Glenn Sanford because he was their finance guy. So very big into the stock market in his early days, started numerous internet companies, and then got into real estate in 2002. And the good thing about Glenn is he's a realtor. He's a realtor at heart. He was a rookie of the year for in 2002 for Prudential in the Northwest, Bellingham, Washington. And then he went to KW after a couple of years. And within Keller Williams, Glenn was a big team, a big thing. He started to expand before expansion teams did and had uh, as many as 45 agents across three states and was top 50 for Keller Williams when he sold with them. And his story is, again, in 2009, uh, Glenn tells me, you know, Gene, just in now, I don't know about you guys, but in 2007, 2008, 2009, those weren't good years in real estate. He says, sometimes out of uh, necessity and out of hard times come great ideas. And in the late 2009, Glenn invented EXP Realty. And I'm going to explain to you why uh, it's so exciting to me because we're about eight and a half years old. And to give you an update right up front, uh, we just passed the 11,000 agent mark nationwide. I'm giving this at, what is it, May 23rd, uh, 2018. It's kind of exciting to put these things in existence. And in April alone, in April alone, we added 1,140 agents net. So you can see the expansion, Cheyenne, of our company so quick. I like to tell my story just a little bit, um, and I do. I have five grand grandkids and five kiddos, 
And my wife, Susan, and I have been in real estate for well over 30, 35 years. And, and, and the industry, to me, has not had a major change to it since I've been in it. I met Glenn three and a half years ago in Austin, Texas. I currently live in Austin. And he came to me and what he came through me through two of my agents, Elizabeth Riley and Jill Liebernight, who are awesome. And they came to me. I was retired at the time. Yes, I was retired because I owned a region for Keller Williams. And I also owned six offices for Keller Williams, three in California, two in Texas, and one on the East Coast. And my wife and I, were, I was retired for about six months. And these two agents came to me and said, hey, could you check out this new model? I said, I'd be glad to. Glenn Sanford came to Austin to see me. We spent a couple days together. And, and just so you all know, I'll fast forward. I researched the company for five months. I spent a lot of time with Glenn. I spent a lot of time with a gentleman named Jason Guessing. Jason Guessing has been our CEO of eXp Realty uh, since pretty much the beginning for eight years. And I flew up to Boston to see him. And uh, after five months of research in the company, uh, I came back to Susan. Now, guys, I want you to try this out for size. Uh, this is uh, basically early March of 2015. I came to Susan. I said, uh, honey, if you knew Netflix existed, would you own a Blockbuster? And she says, no. And I said, well, we own six Blockbusters and a big Blockbuster called a region. She goes, what do you mean? And I said, I think I just found Netflix. It's this small little company called eXp Realty. It's got about 400 agents. And she, of course, the look on Susan's face was not exciting. <laughs> but <laughs> believe me, Cheyenne, you know, <laughs> when I started telling her, look at Susan, let me explain to you what we're doing. And, and, and what's exciting is, is when she looked at it, when I said, there's no franchises. And, and Glenn said this to me in the very beginning. This was a hook for me. He said, Gene, have you ever read the Starbucks book, 1997? It was Pour Your Heart Into It by Howard Schultz. I said, yes, I did read that book. If you all don't realize that Starbucks does not franchise, he says, that's what we're going to do. And I said, oh, I love that. You're kidding. I said, because if we all own this together and it's one entity, just imagine how big it could be. Well, that was three and a half years ago when he was explaining to me, what a visionary. What a visionary to envision this company being big underneath one, one entity. So uh, that excited me. And then he what I'm going to share with you today is the other things he showed me that are revolutionary to the industry, literally. Uh, most of the industry, to me, guys, has been tops down. You have your international company or your big, big franchise, whatever it is, or local independent, right, Cheyenne? Yep. They've got their corporate headquarters. Yep. Then they hire regions to sell franchises, and then they sell franchises to owners who invest, take all the risk, pay a lot of money, put their names on leases, right? Copiers, yeah. phone systems, yeah. furniture. And then um, below that, they hire managers to hire agents. I got news for you guys. You're on the bottom. Everybody else up on top. If that's not a top-down structure, I don't know what is. That's right. When, when Glenn showed me this, he said, Gene, here's what we're going to do. All the agents are going to be on one level. There's no tops down structure and all of the corporate staff is going to support the agents because the agents are our customer. I said, I've always believed that. In other words, you as an agent can brand yourself. You don't have to brand eXp because that's the old model. The old fashioned model is to have, you know, we got to make sure that broker's name's out there, right? Mm -hmm. Nationally, right? Make sure there's a Super Bowl uh, ad for that, that brokerage, right? Really? Are people using the broker's name or you as an agent? And I've always believed it's the real estate agent that brings the product, which is our clients. So that's how I met Glenn. Now I got news for you. Has anybody in this, on this webinar had buyer's remorse? Because in early March, I had buyer's remorse. I told Glenn, I told Jason, I'd make my decision. I'll sell my six franchises. I'll sell my region and I'll come within about five weeks. About a week later, I had a sinking feeling. I looked at Susan. I said, honey, I don't know about you, but this company only has 400 agents. The last company I ran, last office for KW, had 641 agents when I left. And she looks at me and she goes, well, it's the same size Keller Williams was when we started in 1994. Boom. I'm back on. <laughs> Woohoo! So 
That's what's exciting about Married to the Right Spouse, Cheyenne. Yeah, we, we just found about that out. We love Susan, don't we? we? Everybody loves Susan. Once you meet Susan, you, know, you forget who I am. So mm-hmm. what I'm going to share with you is, is the things I realize uh, as, as being a real estate professional. This is a real estate company. Make no dones about it. We're for the quality agents that want to serve their clients the very best. You're going to sell real estate at the highest level, residential, commercial, luxury, everything. We're a real estate company. We've just got a different model. Let me share that with you. First of all, you have to have core values. We've worked on these, Cheyenne, for the last three or four years. The ones that came out to me, you know, really exciting to me is number one, of course, integrity on the bottom. If we all don't have integrity, nothing works. We have to be agile. We have to be innovative. Uh, My favorite one, if you guys get to know Susan Knight, is I'm going to have fun. And I've made up a, a saying that I've used. I'm, I, if I could fit it on my license plate, I'd put it. But we're going to make real estate fun again. Oh, I love that. Well, I we've been through that. some tough times. Yes. We've been through some tough times, guys. Mm-hmm. And for everybody who's made it through the tough times, they went, you know what, Gene? If I had a nickel for every time somebody said, I just want to have more fun. I said, well, jump on board. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we've got to be collaborative. We have to have transparency. And of course, sustainability, what's exciting to me, I'm going to show you why we're so sustainable. Guys, we have 11,000 square feet, 7,000 square feet. Gosh, I'm in the old days, aren't I? 11,000 agents in our company, as I'm speaking to you right now, with no bricks and mortar. Just think of that. No expenses. No expenses for all the stuff that everybody else has. Of course, we're going to be sustainable. Um, First of all, when I tell the experience of Blockbuster versus uh, Netflix, if you all don't know, there was one thing and one reason why Netflix overtook Blockbuster, and what was it? It was streaming video. It's called a disruptive technology. If you have a disruptive technology that can change an industry, I mean, let's face it, Blockbuster, and I read a big thing on Blockbuster the other day, they were run by very, very professional people, knowledgeable people, honest, good, hardworking people. The problem was is they had invested so much into their infrastructure, bricks and mortar, tapes, CDs, right? And then here comes Netflix goes, you can sit on your couch in your PJs and look at movies all day long for eight bucks a month Mm -hmm. because of streaming video. Now, what we have is a disruptor, a disruptive technology called the cloud. It's a 3D dimensional world where we go in as avatars. That's right. The good thing about avatars is we look 30 years old again. It's awesome. For you 25-year-olds, you'll look five years older. <laughs> I just thought of that one. But uh, the bottom line is, as real estate agents, we, the books and mortar days are gone. Once the iPhone came out in 2007 and the internet has been changed, there's no reason for us to go into a, an environment where, so we can do work from anywhere. It's really funny. I, I love doing these Zoom calls because I'm in Austin, Texas. I don't know where you all are, but we're all around the world. And uh, anyway, there's so many things. So the campus environment, paperless, work from anywhere. We cut out the bricks and mortar. Now, I just pulled up our training uh, for this week, Cheyenne. And let me tell you, it, we didn't just have 15 hours of live training. We had 28 individual training events this week. Now, what's exciting about these training events, I want you guys to understand this, you don't have to get dressed, get in a car, drive somewhere, go to the airport, fly to go see a national trainer. You can get all this training live in our auditorium with a live instructor asking questions, okay, asking questions, Um, and, and I just counted 28 this week, and there'll be more and more, and we record them too. We record them and archive them, okay? So that's what's exciting about our company. We're redoing the way real estate companies are run. A lot of people think, well, you're just virtual. I said, no, we're not virtual. And they go, what do you mean? I said, well, virtual means you're not there. Look at this. Let me show you this little slide. There we are. Yeah. This is our campus. This is just an example. You can go into different rooms. You're an avatar. You can dress how you want. The cool thing is your name's ahead of yourself. I, uh, over your head, uh, a lot of people, it's funny, Talk about collaborating with people and meeting with people. You can actually go in here. If you're feeling like you just want to meet somebody, you're having a bad day, go in, go into our environment and start talking to folks. You'll get the same, same feedback in your body that you would if it was in person because you're meeting that person. You're hearing them live. 
And uh, uh, let me tell you a quick little story because if you don't believe it works, uh, we've been doing it. I've been with the company three years now. I told you my story. I started in Texas uh, three years ago and we started having meetings in here every two weeks. True story, Sean. Every two weeks, boom, we'd all meet from all across the state in the auditorium, just like you're seeing on the right hand side there. Mm-hmm. Well, about eight months into being joining EXP, uh, my wife's mother passed away, Marge Cronin, and uh, we were gone for about a month in Ohio. We came back to Austin, and we went attended our first meeting. Now, this is a real story, and, and what's funny, after eight months of doing this, of being an avatar in a different world, I told everybody, I said, you know what? My wife's been through a tough time. She needs a hug. We all went around her as avatars and hugged her. Mm. And I could hear her crying in the other room. Mm. And I went, this is real. Mm. This is an environment. This isn't fake. This is, and, and and I'm telling you all, once you experience our EXP environment, you'll be able to collaborate and, and, and engage with more people than you ever had in your life. And, and it's the way businesses are going to be run right. because we have the disruptive technology. We have the 3D dimensional world. Okay. So that's really, really exciting to me that we're bringing this. That allows us, that allows us not to charge really our customer very much money because we've done away with all the bricks and mortar. Right. Right. Can now, I tell you real quick, Jean, that was one of the greatest surprises um, that I had not anticipated when I joined EXP um, and I, that's one of the biggest things I hear from agents. Well, I really love going in and seeing my, my friends in the office. And I love the, now I will say, we know that offices, local offices are sometimes not collaborative, right? Because we're competing for the same business. And so sometimes there's that mindset in our environment, the things that I've learned, not just in our training, but from agents that are so willing to share what's working in their businesses, you don't find that in most brick and mortar. And that was, that was awesome. And it is so real. I mean, I have amazing friendships of people I've never even met, you know, in person. Yeah. Well, you, when you get to meet them, cause we do two live events a year, we really believe in belly, belly action. It's really yeah. a belly, belly business. We, we meet in, in April every year at our stockholders meeting in person. We meet in October. We have a live event in October. It's in uh, new Orleans this year. Yep. I'm going. And what's exciting about it is when you meet those avatars there, Cheyenne, you'll just hear their voice and go, oh, I know you. Uh It's exciting. Now, I can tell you, everybody on this, and thank you for coming today, guys, to hear this. I'm sure everybody doesn't have enough leads. And Glenn Sanford and Jason Guessing believe in the fact that we needed to have tools that you can use as an agent to go generate leads. So we have a CRM and, and lead generation tools. There's two of them that we've, we've actually got in our, uh, as a toolbox, KV core and sync platforms are provided for you basically with no additional cost. Now you will pay everybody on this call. If you join us, you'll pay a $50 a month tech fee. Well, I just interviewed somebody two days ago that was paying conversion $1,000 a month. Yep. That's and what I, I said, was, $1,000 plus your and they said, And they said, do you mean I get the same conversion? I get that for 50? I said, yes. And he goes, you've got to be kidding me. Now, the key to lead generation, guys, you're going to get a website. You're going to get, uh, as you know, WordPress sites. You can do everything. You, you need to use it. If you don't use it and work it, you're not going to get leads. Let's face it. The coolest part about it, since we're all using it together, and you mentioned that, that we're going to share that this is a collaborative uh, situation, you're going to be able to learn from all over the nation how to use that tool the best in your local market. That's right. Okay. All righty. So we've got that tool for you all. Um, as far as a backend product, we use Skyslope. So, so some of you all that have heard of Skyslope, it's a very, very uh, easy program to upload your contracts and, and you're going to get paid online. You're going to, you really, you're, if, if you're a company that you're with now, you do business where everything's virtual and you get paid at closing or whatever, nothing's gonna change, all right? We have a back-end product called EXP Enterprise, and the coolest thing about EXP Enterprise is we have stock and revenue share that I'm gonna go over in a little bit, and you're gonna wanna check, as an agent, how much stock do I have? How much revenue share do I have? And it's cool because we had to invent our own back-end product 
to look at that. And then I get, I get questions all the time, Cheyenne, like, uh, how do I brand myself? What's the logo of eXp? How do I use it? Guys, we want you to brand yourself if you can. You know, we, we, we got, and a lot of small independents are joining us now and like tropical real estate in uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida. He had 75 agents. He says, Gene, I've been open 12 years. Everybody knows uh, tropical real estate. And I said, well, use tropical real estate, right? Right. Just, just powered by eXp Realty. So he didn't lose his identity. He didn't lose his branding that he's developed for 12 years. So you guys can do that. You can use any colors you want. Right? When I go to Pittsburgh, they want to use black and gold. When I go to Miami, they want to use pastels or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know? So what I want you guys to know is you guys determine how you want to market yourself in your own markets. Um, let's talk about the stock. Here's what's exciting to me. And, and when I met Glenn, and I got to tell you, that whole experience was just life-changing for me because he said, now this is three and a half years ago. I want you guys to think of this. Just three and a half years ago where you were. He says, well, we have a corporation. And I said, really? Can I buy stock? And he goes, yes. He goes, anybody can buy stock. It's on over the counter and it's 15 cents a share. <laughs> that was three and a half years ago. Okay, now we're on NASDAQ. And I don't know what we are today, but it doesn't matter, but we're well above $10 a share. I know that. Well, when I look back on it and I went, here's the key to agent ownership. We all own it. All the agents own us. So here's how you get ownership. Just read this page with me. You get 50 shares on your first transaction every year that you close. You get 100 shares when you fully cap. What's capping? Everybody in our company is on an 80-20 split. There is no royalty. Until that 20% to eXp equals $16,000. There's your cap. If you pay in $16,000, boom, 100 shares to you. When you sponsor an agent, now this is the cool part. When, when an agent comes to our company because you sponsor them and you help them join, guess what? 100 shares to you. Now those first three that I show you, the reason we do the equity awards on top is those are vested in three years. So if I sponsor, let's say I sponsored Cheyenne, Cheyenne, you would have to stay three years and I have to stay three years for me to cash that 100 shares, right? Vesting in three years. The Icon Agent Program, hey, for all you people that are doing a lot of transactions or a lot of volume, let me show you this program. Once you pay in the 16,000, of course, you'll be on 100% after that. If you can do another 20 transactions after you cap, okay, another 20 transactions, you will pay us a $250 transaction fee for those 20. Let me explain to you what a transaction is. It could be a referral, it could be a lease, it could be a sale, okay? So you do 20 more transactions after you cap, you pay us 250 on those 20, which is another $5,000 to eXp. Guess what? You're gonna be an icon agent and we're gonna award you $16,000 in stock. Pay 16 in, get $16,000 back in stock. Now, you don't get it all at once. You get 12,000 shares uh, immediately. You get 2,000 when you attend our October convention. You get another 2,000 when you attend our April convention. Okay? So $16,000. I've had so many agents uh, say, you've got to be kidding. So basically, it's 5,000 to me. And I go, yeah. And they go, but I sell 200 homes. What happens on that 21st sale? after I cap. And I said, well, the transaction fee goes from 250 to 75. Right. And they go, well, we've got to make some money. Yeah, and right. They, yeah, right. We're own, we, we own our, this is our company. This is our company. That's right. Now, agent equity program, guys, just circle that one, write this one down. Since we're a corporation on NASDAQ now, you guys, it's totally up to you. You can do it, hit a little button and opt to take 5% of your commissions monthly and buy stock at a 20% discount. This is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I've had agents, by the way, all of these um, shares that you can earn uh, just by doing real estate, you're gonna get them just naturally through the sale of real estate. It takes no additional effort. Just push the button on the 5% and you'll like me two years later. Because mm -hmm. you'll go, oh my gosh. I've acquired so much stock. It's, it's a way that you can leave something for your family or create an excellent strategy, strategy for yourself to me. And that's the biggie for me. So there's our stock awards. Everybody's loving them. Um, 
I mean, I don't, I don't know any other company that I worked for in the past that I had those stock options. I mean, that is, yeah. huge. I, I joined EXP in November, Jean, and yep. the stock was right at about six and a half, six dollars and fifty cents. I bought a bunch just through my own brokerage. I called them and said, hey, I want this stock. And I mean, that was just in November. Right. That's beautiful. And, and, and the stories that I could tell you from people that have been with us for two years, a year, six months, like yourself, go, I, I can't believe. Well, and here's the key to me. Stock is ownership. That's right. When we all own it together, I got news for you. If everybody on this little meeting today owned Coca-Cola stock, are we drinking Pepsi? Right. <laughs> no. You know, stock ownership is everything. So I want you guys to understand that it's, it's, it's really real. It bonds us together. It really does. People help each other so much at this company. If I hear it at one time, I hear it another. Oh my gosh, everybody's helping each other. And I said, well, of course, we're at the same company. We all own it together, right? I was at Remax in the 80s. If Dave Linegar would have given me stock in 1987, I'd still be there. I joined Keller Williams in 1994. If Gary Keller would have given me stock in 1994, I'd still be there. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't have the ownership that I have now, okay? The other big game changer to me is revenue share. What is revenue share? What it is, what I want you to understand, is it's, we're just taking money out of that 20% that goes to EXP. Remember that 16,000 I talked about? And we're awarding it to the people that help us grow the company. It's just like a referral fee. So let's give an example. Let's say we go seven levels. Let's say I personally sponsor Cheyenne on this call. This is a good example. And, and I sponsor Cheyenne. Now I'm in Austin, right? She doesn't live in our state, right? right. You, can, you can sponsor anybody in any state, any place in the nation. We're in 49 states as I'm doing this call today, 49 states and three provinces in Canada. So I sponsor you Cheyenne and you're a producer and you cap, okay? The company's gonna reward me every single month when you close on something, the total amount for the whole year is gonna be $2,800, all right? So now you look at everybody and if they're a capper, it's $2,800. If they're a half capper, it's $1,400. You do not have to cap, right? It's done monthly. The coolest thing about this is it's off the top. So in good times or bad times, and I, I explain it to a lot of people, I've been through three downturns in the industry. If there's a $15 million producer in your market in the downturn, they'll do 12 or 10. They still cap. They're not going away, right? right? The coolest thing is we're attracting very, very top agents. We're looking for quality, and I want you guys to understand this when you're out looking for agents. We're looking for quality over quantity, okay? We're not just throwing a bunch of agents in. Look for the good producers. If you guys don't know this stat, it will shock you. Out of the 1.2 million NAR people, right now I just read it in an NAR magazine, 24% of them make more than $100,000 a year. 24%. So guess what? We got a lot of people to talk to. Yeah. Let's talk to the producers. Now, let's say I sponsor Cheyenne. I would get uh, $2,800. Then Cheyenne sponsors somebody. They would be on Cheyenne's first level. They'd be on my second, that, that second level, right? Well, Cheyenne's friend, Susie, she's a capper. She comes over from another company. She caps. I get 3,200. Cheyenne gets 2,800. Kind of cool. Yeah. We keep helping each other, right? Now, one thing I want to note on our chart as you run numbers, and you guys can run numbers yourself and kind of play with this. This is the total amount that we would, we give per capper. They don't have to be a capper but that's the total amount. You have to have five agents on your first level. This is what this means. You, per, you need to personally sponsor five agents, one, two, three, four, five on your first level to open up the big bonus on the second level. You guys need to understand that you need to go wide. You can't just recruit one person and go away, all right? The minute you sponsor 10 people on your first level, uh, it opens up the third, 15, fourth, 20, 25, and 40. Let me give you two examples really quick if I can. You guys can run the numbers yourself, but if you had six, count them, six cappers on your first level and six on your second, that's 16,800 on the first level, 19,200 on the second for a total of $36,000 a year. Guys, $3,000 a month, 
or 36,000 a year is could change people's lives. Set out a goal for three years, five years to get six people. It's not that hard. Believe it or not, when I say it's not that hard, you're doing real estate all day long. You're running into realtors. They're going to ask you, what in the heck is this thing about EXP? Just invite them to an event like we have here today that you can see what we're about. That's all I want you to do. You don't have to do the whole presentation, please. And if they join and name you as their sponsor, guess what? It's brilliant. So six by six, six on the first, six on the second is 3,000 a month. Now, I will ask you guys this on this call. It's a lot easier to attract six agents in three years than it is to save $3.6 million. If you can save $3.6 million at 1% interest, right, that's 36000 a year. That's why I got excited about this because agents can now have an exit strategy a way to retire, a way to get out of the business. You're vested in three years on our program. You can will this, okay, to your kiddos. And the cool thing is, is that's a way out for you to have some residual income in your life, a separate little bucket to me of income. Go ahead and sell real estate all day long, but this is an extra little bucket that you can, you can exist. Now, I have agents doing a lot more than $3,000 a month. I just wanted to be really, really basic to you. And the bottom line is, uh, I've got agents texting me on the 22nd of the month all the time going, Gene, I can't believe I'm making 4,000. I can't, I've been with a, had a, one agent has been with us six months is already making 10,000 a month. And I'm going, Oh gosh, isn't it cool? Yeah. And they get excited about helping other people. This is all about helping other people. That's right. Right. The more people we help, you know, I love that Zig Ziglar thing. I miss Zig. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I miss Zig Ziglar. I think we all should. What he taught us through the years about helping people, the more, you know, the more people you can help, the more people you, you, you can help them get what they need. Yeah. That's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Let's not forget that. Um, let me tell you what's uh, happening. If you've got a big team, guys, we've got a lot of big teams joining us. You can build teams across state lines and in different cities. You only pay one national cap of 16000 it's really, really important. We've got major, major teams joining us across the United States because they go, well, wait, if I'm in three different cities in my state, I have to pay three different caps to my company. And I said, well, not with us. It's one cap. The team members that you have are a half a cap, okay? A half a cap. Just remember that. Uh, we're creating a really big network across the country. What are people saying about us? And I can tell you this, um, if you guys don't know, um, uh, Real Trends, in fact, Real Trends, uh, they've called us the Amazon of real estate, but Real Trends, if you pull it up, uh, in the Real Trends report this year, we're number seven in production in 2017 in units produced, number seven in the whole country. I can't wait for this year because we had 2,400 agents when we started 2017. We ended up with 6,500 agents at the end of 2017, and we've already got 11,000 this four and a half months into the year. So, What's exciting is you can see we're growing at an unbelievable rate. The Amazon of real estate means, guess what? We don't have the expenses everybody else does. That's really what it means. And we're doing it a different way. So a lot of people know about us. You're going to hear about us all across the United States. Um, it's very, very exciting. Let me just recap some of the things I talked about today. Uh, the 80-20 split, capping out at 16000 that you get 100%. And remember that there's a $250 transaction fee for 20 transactions, and then on the 21st transaction, it goes to $75. Your standard costs are $99 startup. The $99 startup includes a 50, the first $50 monthly tech fee, okay? So it's really $49 to start up. And uh, on your first closing every year, guys, uh, uh, Brad Anderson, who used to be the uh, head instructor at Zillow, Brad is the head of our training department, uh, Brad, creates all this great training, has agents training all the time. We didn't want to charge for that. So we made a conscious decision years ago to just have one fee at the, on your first closing, a $420 university fee. And that's how we pay for Brad and all the training that we do. By the way, remember on your first closing every year, there's 50 shares coming your way. Uh, every single transaction has a broker review fee. We look at every single contract, every single listing, guys. $25 on the closed transactions. That's where we take the $25 out. By the way, the brokerage is done locally, always done locally per the state. 
and uh, $30 E&O fee. And just so you know, that's capped out at $500. So for you agents that are doing 50 transactions a year, 30, at 17 transactions, the E&O goes away. So uh, those are the recaps of it. Really, really simple. We've kept, we've kept the model so simple. One thing I would tell you, the reason we're having explosive growth all over the nation is the fact that we have one cap and we don't sell franchises. So if you guys know agents anywhere in the nation, more than likely we're there. If we're not there yet, we'll go join that MLS, right? It's not that hard. All we need is an agent or two and we'll go join. Why not? There's nothing to sell. So the explosive growth is going crazy. Of course, this was at the end of April when we made this slide that we were 10,000 agents. We're at 11,000 agents now, uh, three weeks into the month. Into uh, So that's really my whole presentation, Cheyenne. You know, that's it. I, what's exciting to me is I don't want anybody on this to know that uh, um, to not wait because, I, you know, it's so funny. I, I just got a guy that I talked to three years ago. He's finally coming on board with us. He says, Gene, I should have done it three years ago. I said, no. You know, he says, I just wasn't ready. And I says, quite honestly, I thought you were kind of kooky. It's only got 400 agents. Yeah. And guess what? We're adding 1,140 agents a month. That yeah. was April. Yeah. We have 11,000 agents now. It's not too hard to figure out. It's right. happening. But the majority of those agents, Cheyenne, are top producing agents. This is the key. It's not just putting numbers in. It's, right. it's very, very quality growth. So It is. That's, that's really exciting. When I joined in November, I had actually, um, you know, I'd closed over 2,500 transactions in my career. Yep. And so I would, I think I'd be considered successful in our industry. And, um, but I, you know, 20, that's a lot of deals. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I had actually wound my business down and, uh, and, and really was looking to do something else. I didn't have a, guess what I didn't have? I didn't have a retirement strategy. I mean, right. I didn't. Yep. And, um, and someone sent me this little video on EXP that I didn't look at for three months. And <laughs> I, I will tell you, I watched nine minutes of it, Gene, nine minutes of a 54 minute video. And I shut it off and I called him back and I said, I'm in. And uh, he just wanted me to look at it. And I was like, and he's like, is it good? And I'm like, I have no idea, but we're doing this. Like, this is like, it was revolutionary. I yeah. only watched nine yeah. minutes of it. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's simple. Um, it is, it is um, disruptive technology. We know things are changing. Things have changed. They're not changing. Yeah. They have changed, right? Ooh, yeah. We are community focused, we are agent focused, agent centered with retirement and stock strategies and exit plans for agents and you don't find that in companies. Yep. Yeah, kind of, it's just, kind of a no brainer to me. Well, well, you know, it's funny that you, if I had the story you had, I, we got a hundred million dollar producer. Now I don't know about you, but any market, a hundred million dollar producer is a big one. That's a big one. Made their decision in a week. Uh, I had another $180 million producer make their decision in three days. Yeah. I went, what is going on here? Yeah. What's going on is the fact that everybody in the industry, we're all working for the same tops down models. Right. Doesn't matter if it's a franchise or if it's an independent, they're still tops down. That's and right. by the way, they're still good companies. I mean, they're great companies. Our competitors, we want to sell homes with them. They're not going to go away. That's right. The bottom, the bottom line is, though, is that I just realized three years ago, the industry is changing and I'm going to change with it. I'm going to be on the forefront of doing business a little bit different way. And when I say by that, you know, I'm looking pretty good as an avatar. Yeah. I'm having fun. <laughs> That's so, right. We're having so, fun. And we're having fun again. Join us. Uh, ask some questions if you've got anything. If yeah. you're getting any questions on it, Let's just see if we have any questions. I actually have a question because I have an agent on that I invited from British Columbia, and I yes. know we were. Are we are we set up there yet? I, you know, I can check into that. As okay. far as I know, yes. I thought we were approved in British Columbia. I I thought we were too. So, but I do I do see that I have a British Columbia agent on. So. The two the two that we were we were opening up was British Columbia and Quebec. That'll give us five. Okay. All right. Well, Five the key thing is the story I get all the time is, well, Gene, I know somebody in France or I know somebody, whatever, keep your connections, keep everything open. Cause we're going international, right? We don't have to sell franchises anymore. 
Right. So I want you guys to understand and be very, very uh, proactive. Guys, we're only eight and a half years old. Think of that. We're only eight and a half years old now. We've gotten to 11,000 agents. You're kidding me. Yeah. I never thought when I was three years, three years go by that we'd be, by the way, just in Texas alone, we have 2,400 agents right now. Now, now that's funny to say 2,400 agents in three years from scratch. I've got news for you. I can't wait to get to 4,000 by the end of the year, three to 4,000. I mean, this is, this is, we're, we're adding, actually adding about 250 a month in Texas. Once you get it going in a state mm-hmm. or in an area, it mm-hmm. just creates momentum because mm-hmm. we're growing agent to agent with their relationships. Yeah, that's right. It's okay. brilliant. Actually, it's brilliant. You've got to hit a tipping point. You know, I don't even, I don't, I couldn't, I wouldn't even say if we've hit our tipping point. Um, I would say in areas we've probably hit tipping points, but when you do that. <laughs> well, I think, you know, I told somebody the other day, I think in the United States and Canada, we're about 5% done because sometimes when they look at us and they go, Oh, I, I had a guy just this week. I talked to him three years ago. Guess what? He texted me yesterday, two days ago when we went on NASDAQ. He goes, Gene, I think I blew it. I said, <laughs> you didn't blow it. He goes, I talked to you three years ago when the stock was like 40 cents a share. I said, I know. And he goes, oh, I blew it. I said, no, you didn't. I met with him. Guess what? That was about 70 million a year. Guess what? It's okay. It wasn't good at that time. Right. Don't, think you met, don't think you missed out. Right. I think we're like 5% done Yeah, that's in America that's and the U.S. Right. By the way, just 5% in the U.S. and Canada. We're not even started internationally. Right. So wait until we hit that. Yeah. So um, we're a new model. Everybody wants that new model. Everybody wants to be with a Netflix or an Uber or whatever. Gosh, I was at the airport. I flew this week. Just so you know, my Uber, I, it, for some reason, it wasn't working. It was just my phone. I had to take a taxi cab. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing I've ever done. There were like three people standing there, nobody talking to them. And I'm going, oh my gosh, I felt bad. I, I, at least I gave one guy business, right? Yeah, that's but, great. But it's not going back. We're not going back where we have to go into bricks and mortar offices, right? right. We've wiped out all the middle level management of real estate companies, all the middle level management. Just think of that. No regional directors, no regional owners. Right. No owners of offices, no, no managers. None of this, all this labor we've wiped out and right. expenses associated with it. And then people say, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys are going to make it. And I said, are you kidding me? We don't have the expenses of any, is, you know, that's why Netflix could do it for eight bucks a month. Right? Um, I always get the question like, is the EXP good for new agents? right? Because if we don't have all what people would consider, you know, those training people, how does a new agent? Um, well, here, yes, yes. We got some good new agents right now here in Texas. The new agents, quite honestly, I, I tell them two things. Number one, of course, if you've got a self-starter that's been a CEO of another company, they're just going to rock and roll and they're going to do well wherever they're at. But if they really need a lot of training and help, I, said, I, I, rec- I, I recommend two different ways. Number one, go on a team. You want a team that's already existing, that's producing, and you'll learn. I'll tell you what, individually, if I had to do all over again, I wish my first year I would have gone on a team and gotten a 50-50 split. Mm -hmm. Because I would have learned everything about real estate in that year, made money, and done well. If you're just such a self-starter and you go, I don't want to go on a team, we've got a mentoring program. And you'll get a live mentor that's going to work you through your first five to ten transactions, okay? Or more. Because once you get a mentor, they're your mentor for life. But you know what I mean. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're, I know we're the not... agents that I bring in, I help, right? So I have sure. all, the, all the background and the experience that I have doing my 2,500 deals. I, I, know, I know some things about doing real estate. And so, you know, a lot of times your sponsor is going to be the person who is going to help you as well. Well, or, or anybody in the company. Yeah, or anybody in the company. You know, that's what's funny. It's, it's funny, you know, my wife was the broker for our one office for eight years. So people would call her all the time on broker issues. Sometimes they'll ask her before they ask our broker. Right? <laughs> you know, right. we're all going to help each other. Right. That's what mm-hmm. I found is we're, we all help each other. Yep. So, well, listen, I don't, let's see if there's any questions here. And you can just, there's a chat box, guys, that's right at the bottom of the screen in your little toolbar here or your little, and uh, you can just type, type a chat. 
If you've got any questions here for Gene while we've got him, this is pretty cool. We've got his time here, so definitely ask him. Yeah, so. it's been, been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I love doing these. Well, it, it is a lot of fun, and uh, I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina. We're really just kind of getting going here. Um, mm. we, we just brought on a, a pretty good team. I'm actually the number one agent in our community, uh, Jeff Cook. I'm sure you know him. He's awesome, mm. great, great friend of mine. And, um, and so it's, it's just, I feel like the gas is just starting to get poured on here in Charleston, so we're excited. All righty. Very well, thank fun. you very much. I appreciate it. Gene, thank you so much for your time. And um, I'll see you in, uh, in October in uh, right. New Orleans. And Yay. hopefully we'll see some yeah. of you. So definitely get back to the person who invited you uh, to this. And uh, they're going to answer any questions that you've got about EXP. Of course, you can reach out to myself. And um, we thank you for your time today. Gene, thank you for your time. Thanks, Cheyenne. Take care. You see too. Ya. Take care. Bye-bye.